Hi, I'm James and I'm a photochemist here at the University of Bristol. I'm a PhD student in the chemistry department. One of the good things about chemistry is that we have in our week a lot of questions that we want to ask. Sometimes they're very specific, whether a certain reaction might work that we've never tried before. Sometimes it's more general about thinking, could our chemistry be used to make a certain compound or a certain drug? What immediate questions do we need to answer? What reactions can I do to make the pieces fall together into this jigsaw? And that works really well. With my chemistry, I do something a bit different. Instead of getting the energy from heat, we get the energy directly from light. So the sun gives off a lot of energy. That's why when you're outside in the sun, you feel really warm. You get that energy from the sun. And again, with this, with the LED, what we do is it shines the light on my uh, round bottom flask that's mixing my chemicals. And then we get the reactivity, the new compounds that form from that, just from the energy of that light. With the chemistry, it can take a while to get some answers. Sometimes we can put on a reaction, it can be done within a few hours, and we'll immediately know that this particular chemistry, this particular reaction has worked, especially with photochemistry, as we can see the color change a lot of the time, so we know if something's happening quite quick. But um, some reactions can take a long time. Chemistry is a science where you will do 10 reactions and maybe only a few of them will work. And that's part of the learning process. It still shapes the future of chemistry by understanding what didn't work as well as what does work. The main thing is to focus on getting past it, uh, working through the challenges, finding a way to overcome them. And if that means changing your original ideas, then so be it. I think there's some challenges I faced growing up and wanting to be a scientist. I'm from a place where not many people went to university, not many people uh, went on to be scientists. And in fact, I'm the first person in my family to go to university, um, and let alone study chemistry or science. One of the main challenges I faced was that there would always be people growing up who would say, uh, you can't achieve something or you shouldn't achieve it. If I could go back and say something to myself, it doesn't matter what other people say you should or can achieve, it's what you want to achieve. And I think that's important about being a scientist is it may look daunting, you may see a lot of crazy things that you don't understand, but if you want to achieve that and you want to be a scientist, you can. A really key piece of advice I can give to children interested in pursuing science is to be inquisitive, to ask a lot of questions. There really is no silly question and any research will be happy to answer any question that you have about going into science.